In Windows Server, I'm in 2022, we can create what's called a server group. And you'll see that when you go into Server Manager and you're in the dashboard, and I can click on Create a Server Group. A, a server group allows me to add in a group of servers, and I can make multiple server groups if I'd like, and just give them different names. And it makes it easier to organize the servers in your server manager, and also to install applications more easily as well, as far as roles and features. So I'm going to call this one my server group. And right away, it shows me my DC2, which is what this particular server is that I'm on. So I'll go ahead and move that over. Now, if I click on Active Directory, I can also go and search for other servers. So if I know their names or the beginning of their names, I can go ahead and type that in. And if I'm unsure, I can just click Find Now, and it goes out and shows me all the different servers that are in there. So I'm going to choose DC01 as well, and I'll choose my file server. So there's my group. Now, if I go into DNS, I can put in a name or an IP address, or I can go and import as well from another computer. So I'm going to go ahead and create this particular group. And now on the left-hand side, I see my server group. So I'll click on server group, and it's showing all my different servers. Now, if I decide to go ahead and add a role or feature, I'll click on add roles and features, click next, next, it shows the three servers that are in my group. So I can choose whichever server I'd like to install, whatever role or feature I'd like. So I don't have to be on the server itself. I don't have to be logged into it. I can connect to it remotely. I can also see any events that are affecting my server group, as well as services down below. So this is how you create a server group in Windows Server, and this is version 2022, but it also works in previous versions as well.